you have any idea how hard you know, his bulls are to come back? Maybe next time you try to drown someone, we'll first make sure he's not a demigod who can swim. Turns out you're not the only half-blood who's hard to kill. You know, prophecy. You don't know. Huh. Chiron, Mr. D, all the rest. They don't care about us. To them, we're just kids. I'm not the only half-blood who thinks so. Think about it. What a surprise. Sidon doesn't have any other half-blood sons. You don't say. It's been a long time. You look good. Grover. Grover. Oh, Grover, yes. You're trying to use... I needed to. I got something only the fleece can revive. And it's not a tree. I had to crawl through the depths of Tartarus itself. And then Cleveland. Destroyer of Olympus. It's just our turn. Really? And he couldn't even tell me himself. Does that sound familiar? Take him to the brig. Let's go. You're gonna lecture me about Talia when you're hanging around with him? You disappoint me the most. What are you doing? Don't walk on my roof. It's what you were meant to do. Let's show both of our fathers. Not this again. Jackson, enough! and the satyrs still have a head start on the fleece. We will resurrect you, Lord Kronos. You will know vengeance, and the Olympians who scorned us will know death. Yes, it's nice work, I really appreciate it. I'll take that. Suit yourself. <gasps> Just remember, it didn't have to end this way. This one's on you. You should consider yourselves lucky, but you all get to see it. You used to be one of us. And then I woke up. Lord Kronos, rise. I know you can breathe underwater, Jackson. But can you breathe like this? <laughs> Master, I brought you back. My lord, it's Luke, your great-grandson. Half-blood, just in time for dinner.